Today will go down as one of the best days in college football history. This mic's not plugged in to anything. I don't need it. I have a note card right here with all of the things notable I found about, like I thought about today. And it's a lot, I'm just gonna warn you. So I'm gonna start calling this Notable Note Cards. I didn't just come up with that. That's been sitting in my head for years. <sighs> First of all, I'm gonna talk about my boys in red, Ohio State. What a fucking game. I thought we were gonna get dominated. I thought we were gonna lose 70 to two. I thought like Steel Chambers would have like a safety or something. I, I felt like we were gonna be okay defensively to start out the game. Actually, no, the second quarter, I felt like we were gonna have a good game. We had a fucking great game. Any other team, we dominate them. But we're playing a fucking NFL team. That is the single craziest game I have ever watched. And then the Michigan game. The Michigan TCU game. Holy shit, Max Duggan. What the fuck type of steroids are you on? That was by far the craziest game I didn't think I'd care about. I thought... You know, whoever wins, whatever. We're not going to make it to the championship. It'll be a fun game to watch, but I have no horse in this race. I've never felt that nervous. Like, I'm saying I've never experienced this before, but I really haven't. Like, it's been the last time I was this excited about a game that didn't affect my team specifically. Like, it, it affects us indirectly, sure, but was the fucking Tennessee... In the fucking Tennessee-Alabama game. That game was so crazy. But, fuck, it just happened. Like, I was jumping on my seat for Tennessee. There was a fucking earthquake that game. And then LSU-Alabama. tennis or LSU Alabama. The fucking balls on Brian Kelly. I know I'm super late to this. But neither of those things made me feel like I had to make a video about it. I was like, whoa, that's fucking crazy. Let's move on. Actually, I didn't move on. I talked about it for several days. People asked me if I was a Tennessee fan. I was like, no. I'm a Buckeye. But that is fucking college football, and I love it. <sighs> anyway, today, I watched the fucking TCU game and thought, there is no way I'm going to see a better game of football since maybe the fucking Rose Bowl last year. That was crazy. But no, it outmatched the Rose Bowl last year. And then, fucking our game, which I thought was going to be 70 to 2, or whatever I said. It wasn't. It was 41 to 42. We lost by a point. I am A-OK -okay with that. Okay? I have no complaints there. That was a stellar game. Fucking, I haven't even read anything off my note card. This is just me rambling. Anyway, getting into the meat and potatoes. Marvin Harrison Jr., is one of the, he should have won the fucking Blinkentoff. He should have won the Blinkentoff. There's no excuse for him not winning it, except for Smith the Jigba stealing the attention for two or three games. But that fucking penalty, or that non-penalty, where he's in the end zone, he catches it like this, and gets fucking blown up from the side, is the single, that's one of the worst no calls I've seen. Eh, no. It's one of the worst defenseless it is the worst defenseless receiver no call i've ever seen there that motherfucker was out here like this in slow motion it looked like it hurt like it was it looked regular speed in slow motion that is impeccable like that fucking dude who hit him i don't i, I really want to know how much force he got hit with there's got to be a way to calculate it it's simply outrageous and that is the turning point of that game we were up fucking by two scores at that point marvin harrison goes out boom 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 they score three times to our two or whatever we go down a point noah ruggles missed a field goal you know what i'm not complaining about that that's my guy his last name's fucking ruggles 
Do you realize how sick that is? That is one of the coolest last names, aside from like Jalen Waddle or what's that fucking dude, dude's name? Booty Beers or no General Booty, and then it was like Beer Country or something, Beer County, Beers Bears. I don't know, whatever. C.J. Stroud. Let's talk about Stroud. Holy hell. What the fuck is that? Was that dude on? Whole season, I was like, this dude kind of sucks. The hype is overwhelming. Like, everyone... Well, actually, a lot of Ohio State fans didn't think he was that much. I was in that camp because I was still mad about Quinn Ewers leaving. Quinn Ewers was my dog. I fucking loved Quinn. Because that fucking sidearm, though, that was just beautiful. Quinn didn't have a great year, but... You know, he's a fucking freshman. What are you going to do? <sighs> I need to take a breath. Anyway, fucking Stroud threw five touchdowns, four touchdowns. I think five. I think, no, 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 no. Four touchdowns. There were two field goal. Yeah. Four passing touchdowns. A rushing touchdown and two field goals. So Stroud had a fucking stellar game. This man was running all over their defense. He has never done that. I think he had more rushing yards in this one game than he did the rest of the season combined. I he's still not an NFL caliber quarterback. Like he's not actually I need to rephrase that. He's like JT Barrett. He's like all these great quarterbacks who like, come out of college like hot shit, but then flop in the NFL. Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football, great example of that. Best, one, one of the top five QBs in college I've ever seen didn't pan out in the NFL. He's just one of those quarterbacks, you know? It is what it is. Shifting topics, because I, I kind of want to talk about Noah Ruggles, but we'll talk more about that at the end. Brock Bowers. What the fuck? We're moving on to Georgia right now. You know what? I'm not going to talk about Brock Bowers. Kirby Smart did not do much, okay? That motherfucker really didn't have that big of an impact on the game. He had a few, like, cool calls. And, like, the play calling was so off. The only reason... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. The only reason Kirby Smart and whoever the offensive coordinator is, I don't give a fuck. The only reason they had any success is because of fucking Jim Knowles. Jim Knowles is ass. I don't care what you say. Jim Knowles is one of the worst. I mean, he has all the ability to prove me wrong. But, like, there are times, like, he ran cover zero against Michigan. That's fucking stupid. If you're running cover zero in college football, you have brain damage. That's just the fact. Okay, anyway, Kirby Smart, I wasn't that impressed with his play calls. Or his, like, just, yeah, I wasn't that impressed. Uh, whoa, Brock Bowers. What a weird game for him. He had, like, I think he had one catch going into the fourth quarter. He had three in the fourth quarter, and then a fucking rush. Like, he ran the ball. For a first down, that was weird. I'm, that was baffling to say the least. Okay, but you know what? Good for him. I was super impressed with the, with Ohio State's ability to shut him down. That man. It just shows it. The only like part of the reason that fucking Georgia was so potent the entire season is because they had two tight ends who were killer. Darnell Washington. And fucking Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers played the entire game. Darnell Washington, on the other hand, got taken out in the first like quarter, I think, due to torn some or other. Whatever. That was a very pivotal point. Although, like, here's the fucking line of... You know what? No. Although... Anyway, I'm just going to cut myself off because I'm going off on a tangent. Stetson Bennett 
I feel like has pro potential. He's not a great quarterback. He's surrounded by great pieces. He has the, but he is a great leader. Stetson Bennett is a leader. He picked his quarterback or he picked his kicker up both times he missed field goals. That was like he he's a great leader. Okay, I fucking love Stetson Bennett. I think if, if the Panthers draft him, like in the third round or something, they're gonna have not a franchise quarterback, but like. How would I... Who's a comparison? A Walmart Andrew Luck. Like, just a kid who balls out for four or five years, then drops off the face of the planet. I get Andrew Luck retired for other reasons, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Nick... No, not Nick Foles. Case Keenum. Case Keenum is the... Fucking Case Keenum is Stetson Bennett. They are going to have the same fucking careers. They're going to have one or two really nice seasons and then <laughs> die. Not actually die. That's a little bit extreme. Anyway, bit inter- bit of an intermission uh, to because I finished one game. Finished talking about one game. Going to talk about the other. But now, let's talk about for one minute. The fucking Whopper commercial. Holy shit, I cannot express my hatred for this commercial. The fucking... BK, have it your way. You rule. I fucking hate that commercial. I hope... It gets taken off the air. I hope it dies. I don't know how a commercial can die, but I hope it happens. I hope it stubs its toe on every corner in of the internet. It, Burger King should be canceled for that commercial. It is god awful. Easily one of the worst commercials I've ever seen. And I can't fucking tell what song it's modeled after, which pisses me off even further. (sighs) Okay, back to football. (laughs) So TCU, I'm saving Michigan for last because I don't really have that much on them. Like, I didn't find any of their game fascinating to me. Anyway, TCU, there could be a franchise. They could be a dynasty. They just need their wide receivers to step up. Their wide receivers are so shit. Max Duggan didn't, like, on paper, he had a bad game. Let me tell you, if this motherfucker had receivers who could catch the ball when it was right here, he would be a Heisman. And I think he should have been a Heisman. This motherfucker took TCU from unranked to the national championship. I think he's going to win. I think they're going to win. Georgia did not impress me as much as they should. Like, they should have blown Ohio State out. It It's utterly disgusting how poorly they, not poorly, they didn't actually play bad, but how much they let us in. Max Duggan is going to run all over their team. CJ Stroud could, okay? If CJ Stroud can, Max Duggan can run the ball, that is. I think CJ Stroud's a little bit of a better quarterback, but he didn't have a good year, which is why I think Max Duggan is better than him this year. <sighs> Michigan. Michigan is a weird team. I think Harbaugh needs to be fired. The only thing that's keeping him around is his two wins over Ohio State. They have lost six consecutive bowl games. They lost 2016, 2018, 2019, 2021, 2022. They lost both times they've been in the CFP. Like, the only other team like that is Notre Dame. And I think that might be wrong. Notre Dame has for sure lost once. I think they lost twice. It's simply egregious. That Harbaugh has stayed in that office. He has stayed the head of that team. And JJ McCarthy. Switching topics entirely. Like switching. Just I'm pivoting. JJ McCarthy. I don't like Michigan. I really fucking don't like Michigan. But he is such a good quarterback. He is being wasted there. Fucking an SEC school or a pack. Like his legs. He is with his Mobility, he is not 
working out. Like he's not, he should not be the primary. He should not be at Michigan. He should be at an Oklahoma state. He should be at a Texas, like a Texas school. I'm not saying Texas horns down. He should be at fucking not Georgia, not Georgia. He should be at Florida. Have you seen Anthony Richardson? I think it is. I might be wrong. The fucking Georgia quarterback is crazy. He should be at Auburn. If he was at fucking Tamu, he should be at Texas A&M. If he's at any of this school, like any of these schools, he's a Heisman candidate. And that's non-negotiable. Finally, wrapping things up with a nationwide thing. Not nationwide. The coverage, they're dead to me. Ever since I lost that football, I had this little foam football that said nationwide on it. And I lost it in a tree, and now I'm upset. <sighs> so, defense wins championships. Not in the way where, oh, you need to shut them down in every way possible. No, that's not the reality of college football anymore. You just need to stop them like every other drive, every third drive even. If you can do that, the potency with offense now nowadays will allow you to be so much better. You won't have any struggles if you can stop the team every third down or every third drive. And if you can get my theory is if that you have a positive, if you have a turnover difference over one, like one is just could be a fluke. You could intercept it at the one yard line, whatever. But if you have a turnover difference of over one, like plus two, plus three, etc., there is no realm in which your offense like if you're if you get two turnovers and allow 41 points or 42 points you should win the game because offenses have transcended like there are so many plays nowadays like it's impossible to stop help hold teams like good teams like ohio states bamas tennessees georgias Michigan, TCU, all these great teams, Utah, not USC, fuck USC. It is imp fucking ULM, not ULM. ULM is, is kind of ass. It is impossible to hold all these teams to under, like, even, like, it's impossible to hold them under 20. And it, you, if you expect your team to hold a team, a good team, under 10, you're insane. Secondly, kickers. Holy shit. Who knew kickers would have this big of a role in this in these games? Fucking what? Jake Mooney? Or Jake Moody? Best kicker in college football. Best might be the best ever. If I'm an NFL team, I'm getting him as soon as possible. Not first round, not second round, not third round, fourth round. That's very high for a kicker, by the way. I'm getting him fourth round. If he's still there, fourth round, take him. Fucking Packers. The Packers, take him. The Cowboys, take him. Unless you've got fucking Justin Tucker, Young Hoku, or Daniel Carlson, you're taking him. No way around that. Finally, holy hell, refs are garbage. I hate refs. They, like, they fucking, they missed... The, there was that no call uh, that sent Marvin Harrison out of the game. They fucking missed a few calls where Ohio State was blatantly holding. And they were just like, it's fine. Just keep going. Like, there, there were plays where the DB was draped all over the fucking receiver. And they were just like, nah, you're good. Now, I feel like... The Georgia game, at least it was consistent. The Georgia-Ohio State game was at least consistent with the calls. But the fucking Texas Christian, I don't know why I said Texas, the Horned Frogs versus Wolverines game was so bad. There were so many no calls against Michigan. There were so many times I was like, that's blatant pass interference. That's fucking blatant holding. There was a false start that just flew under the radar. They just didn't call it. And I was like, that's pretty weird. But that was like early in the game, so I didn't really care. Like, I was like, that's fucking stupid, but who cares? 
they fucking misplaced the ball on an interception. Like, the motherfucker went down at the 49, and they were like, this 49. They fucking switched the field. That's a loss of two yards. And two yards doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. It's very important. The fucking... Oh, yeah. Two yards is a lot, okay? It's very vital. It's the difference between that fucking later touchdown. Or touchdown, where fucking Cornelius Brown caught the ball at like the one yard line that was not in by the way that was fucking like he was at the one that is for sure anyway refs revamp like we need new refs people need to start getting better kickers kickers if any kickers watching this start training like hell because programs like georgia need you okay hopefully i can get this video out by the time New Year's.